Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. Here in Nokron, the Eternal City, we found ourselves accosted by two very large, very annoyed, and very challenging gargoyles. But, as we have uh, done in previous Dark Souls iterations here in Elden Ring, proved no different, and one by one, the gargoyles fell. Now, I, uh, this, this side of grace is pointing us in this general direction, so I assume there's more to come over there. I just want to pop over here, um, over to the edge, and see if there's anything in particular uh, that can be found uh, hiding here in the midst of the waterfall. Not really seeing anything, so off we go to the next uh, level. I would like to make our way back to the round table hold at some point. And uh, I think we have the, sm the smithing stones to level up the Uchi. What do we got here? Seek underground tomb and short coffin required ahead. Oh, okay. Hmm. Last time I got in a random coffin was in the, like, the frozen wasteland in, uh, in Dark Souls 2. And we all know that how that turns out. It was a bad time for everybody. What's the plan now? Oh, magic. Magic is the plan. Okay, I was going to say nobody's here to push me. <laughs> Whoa. A little uh, coffin elevator. Okay, I hope I put my head at the top. I, think, I feel like going upside down up that could be really uncomfortable. We'll have to make an assessment of how how high level this area is. I assume this is going to be fine since the since the you know the Sofra River area that we came from was fine. But if not, then obviously we can uh, go explore other areas instead. Now where are we now? The text says... What? Deep Root Depths. Not... Not so, so deep, I guess, because it's higher than, uh... Than Safra. It should be called, like, somewhat deep depths. You know? Marginally deep insofar as the roots of trees grow depths. Oh, hello. <laughs> is that a... Is that a Erdtree avatar uh, as a common, common enemy? Yep, maybe so. I'm not seeing any uh, boss music. Oh, it was... Ooh, that was half my health. Mm-hmm. Hit the thing. Hit the tree in the thing. Oh, that was disappointing. Uh oh. Double oh no. We know how these go. Alright, that worked okay. Whoops. There we go. I mean, you may be at a, at a high level here, uh, Erdtree Avatar, but you're still just an Erdtree Avatar when all's said and done. Not to neg you or anything, but, uh, you know, 
I'm a future Elden Lord. You're just a you're just a tree with a hammer. So there's that. Uh, staff of the Avatar. Perhaps not the st the staff of the Avatar that you're thinking of. There's another Avatar who had a staff famously. But there's no air air to be bent here. Only trees. Uh, I guess let's, what, we could take a look at it while we're here. Why not? We've got a we've got a moment. Scales with strength, dex, and faith. Ceremonial staff depicting the Erd Tree in historic radiance, wielded by the avatars who protect the minor Erd Tree. The avatars emerging in the wake of the Elden Ring's shattering were determined to protect the withering tree Erd Tree's offspring. Unique skill, Erd Tree Slam, jump high in the air and crash down onto the ground ahead. The resulting pratfall <laughs> sends golden shockwaves in all directions. This is the most powerful of all the ground slam attacks. Ooh, is that right? Well, I'm not much of a uh, ground slam enthusiast myself, but I appreciate it for those who are. Okay, is that... Is this an actual, uh... Bridge? Oh, it is. A bridge to somewhere. Bug? More bug. I want to go home. Hmm. Cave ahead? Is there? Tunnel ahead. Up here? Oh, yeah. Over there. Like, yeah. Obviously. Oh, up there, I see. Oh, okay. Now that that is helpful, actually. That is good to know. We'll have to remember remember to uh, circle back and get whatever that purple item is on top of the log near where the the Erd Tree uh, avatar was. Mm, is that a queen ant? And hope nobody has, like, uh, insectophobia or whatever. Ooh, that was almost down to the deep root. The deeper deep root depths. Let's go ahead and throw one of these tears on. Uh, Cerulean. Good thing that we have two of them now. Now, this is surely a queen that must be dealt with, right? Whoops. Oh, I thought I killed them. Whoops. Huh. The queen still doesn't really care. I mean, I guess there's more ants to be made where that, that comes from, right? All right, here goes nothing. Kind of feel bad. Newman's room. Not Numenor. That's something else. And a rune arc. Huh. Uh, hopefully that wasn't somebody I was supposed to talk to. <laughs> but I could target them, so I don't think it was, right? Okay, I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna make myself feel feel better, and uh, tell myself that, that that individual. Oh, there's more of them down there. Okay, that's that makes me feel better. Something incredible ahead. Well, one word for it. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good assessment of uh, state of affairs here. We're pretty consistently uh, staggering them, which is nice. Of course, they're only like basic worker ants. 
So they're not going to be the toughest ones ever. Now, why don't th why don't these queens do anything when I attack? I wonder. Oh God! Oh, another Newman's rune. Great, another rune arc. Good for me. Bad for what's chasing me. Oh, that was a couple of them at once. That helps. Oh my goodness. And I'm out of FP for the moment. Hang on. Fortunately, they're not too terribly hard to dodge. There's just a lot of them. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Back. Oh no. Oh, I had FP, not my health. Ah, uh, brother. Oh boy. I wonder if the Uchi or the Bloodhound Fang is better for, uh, like, crowd control, you know? Um, you know what? While we're over... Ooh. Um, I'm gonna say while we're over here, we can go up there to get whatever the purple item was, but now I don't remember where it was relative to where I saw it from. I did see something over here of interest. I see that guy lurking there in the shadows, obviously. I get credit for that? I think I do. As long as I do it. Ooh. Okay, this is a big guy. Big ants, big problems. Still chasing me? Oh, they're not even ants. They're, uh... What, beetles? Hello, we're the beetles. Check out our new record on Abbey Road. Not that, not that kind of beetle. You know what? Uh, oh, never mind. I was going to say we have our soul so we could go back to the round table hold, but our, our, our currency right now is with a bunch of ants. And I take that personally. So we got to go back and get it. It's what, like 17,000 or so? Uh... Yeah, I sure hope. Oh, man. You know what? The Erdtree is such a, like, a clean, golden-looking uh, organism. I'm surprised it tolerates a bunch of nasty bug critters down here. Spoiling its resplendent roots, you know? But maybe, maybe you know, it's a, it's a commentary on society, you know? The, despite, uh... The majestic presentation uh, of, you know, of what's in front of you. Maybe what's what's underneath. Oh, horseback. Good idea. Maybe what's what's underneath is uh, is actually rotten to the core. Who's to say? Oh, no. Oh, OK. We're fine. Just being a little dramatic. Mythic Stone 6, yeah, we definitely need a few of those. Yeah, as soon as we get uh, the runes back and then get to uh, a Site of Grace, definitely want to hit the round table hold. Because we should have plenty of currency at that point to do some leveling with. We could probably just um, run past these initial ants, you know? Oh, these queens, once you kill them, they're, they're gone. Now, the question is, are these guys going to follow me down to their uh, compadres? Oh, what happened there? Oh, gosh. 
You know what? Here's a thought. Is there possibly like a side of grace or something else down here? That I could get to? And just avoid this problem entirely for the time being until I can... Whoa, is this a golden item? It's not something you see every day. Elden stars? Alright. Well, the ants literally just pushed me out of the nest. He's like... We don't take kindly to you, you folks here. Oh no, my I alt tabbed away. That's a problem. Oh no. I don't know how that happened. I guess I must have I must have hit alt tab uh, in my in my panic. All right. Well. Things are definitely tricky here, but I feel like there's a, there's a blueprint to victory here. I feel like there's a blueprint here. Hopefully, um, now that I think about it, we can we can pick up some like uh, Erd tree, like sunflower. Uh, I think that was one thing we needed. And, like, there's there's a few like Erd tree themed items that we need in our crafting that uh, I have not seen. Maybe I've totally missed them, but I have not seen at any previous Erd trees that we've encountered along the way. Uh, but we've already picked up a couple what feels like very strong Erd tree uh, type uh, spells and runes. So. If, in fact, that is the case, then I'm holding out hope for something incredible. Alright, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm also an ant. trying to make it back to my runes, y'all. Don't even mind me. Don't even pay me no heed. Alright, where are they? Here they are. One more, come on. One more. Here we go. Okay, that's the first one. Okay. I think we have a quick second to hold our breath. I mean, I could teleport back to the round table hold now if I wanted to. That would certainly certainly feels like the smart thing to do. But nobody ever said that being smart was a prerequisite for being Elden Lord, now did they? Good looking, skillful with a blade, of course. Uh, charismatic, beloved by maidens and um, demigods alike, sure. But smart? No, 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 friends. Certainly not a prerequisite for Elden Lord. Greedy? Absolutely. Greed, greed is good. Hmm. Hmm. Certainly a lot to see here, isn't there? Now, were I a site of grace? Where would I seek to inhabit? Come on. Oh no, there's a lot of you guys in here. They're just everywhere, aren't there? Ooh, hit him. That'll be all. Good night. Man, we are racking up some runes here. My gracious. Or 
all uh Eesh. See, I'm reluctant to just run in there and not exactly know where I'm headed. But I mean, I guess that's most of... Most of Elden Ring, right? It's just running into places you don't know... Where you're gonna get to. Um, okay, let's just try to establish the lay of the land. a very cool vibe and ambiance, though. You know, I'm almost tempted to do the, uh, to use one of my they used to be called like a ring of sacrifice, but it, basically whatever the talisman equivalent is, where if you die, you you don't lose your uh, your runes. I wonder if that would be worth doing here. As I say that and take no action, I feel like I I ended my Dark Souls playthroughs and didn't. Um, and never used my rings of sacrifice because I'm because my in the back of my head I'm always like, well, what if there's a situation where I have like seventy thousand and I and I don't want to lose them? It's like there's never a correct time to use it. It's just that the eternal RPG. Uh, hmm, unfortunate. The eternal RPG player's uh, dilemma. Valuable item which could come in handy, but in limited quantities. Therefore, it never gets used, you know? You know what? I'm going to do it. Because there's nowhere else to go around here but through that swarm there. And I'm not sure that I'm going to make it. Not that I don't back myself, but, you know. Sacrificial twig. I think that's appropriate, considering where we are down here. I think that's appropriate. Uh, so let's do this. Let's get some bestial vitality going. And we are going to make a break and try to pick up some items here. Maybe we'll die. But we'll still be rich in experience and in a uh, warming stone. Getting real antsy here. Right, there's an obelisk here. Oh no, I'm running out of stamina. Uh. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Oh, a sight of grace! I needn't have worried, friends. And a finger reader crone? Wow, that is a happy sight. Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down on the side of Grace. <laughs> that is a horror movie right there. Sheesh. All right. Um. Yeah, let's talk to her first, and then we'll head back to the round table hold. Hey, um, don't be sad. I have fingers here. I know that you're into that. have died a true death. I know. It's a tough situation. He was the first of the demigods to die. As a martyr to destined death. But why must it yet bring such disgrace? A scion of the golden bow. Sentenced to live in death. How could such a thing come to be? 
Somebody who's living in death? Was she referring to Godwin? That Godwin is like, uh... Like, is alive and is a zombie or something? Huh. So, maybe they're not actually... True old codger head. <laughs> I love that codger is a thing you could say. Um, yeah, so that Godwin is is maybe alive in some sort of undead state. Oh, look over there. Isn't that cool? Can you actually get over there from here? You can. Is that Godwin? Huh. That's awesome. Well, uh... As promised, so where am I right here? Deep root depths, side of grace. What was the previous one? Great waterfall crest. Okay. Let's go ahead and head to the round table hold. 20 grand in our pocket. That is uh, definitely going to be more than enough to buy something nice. Now, we've beat Radon, which means that it's possible that N some NPC quest lines have progressed, so we should probably make the rounds to talk to everybody. Nope. Okay. I guess not. Ah, well then. There's something I should mention to you as well. I'm thinking of leaving the round table hold. What? You no, you're not allowed to leave. Gold mask, though he was but a tarnished, um, living outside the lands between. Didn't I kill him? He was a great scholar, who foresaw the coming guidance of grace, and now, I hear he has come to the lands between alone, to contemplate the golden order. I wish nothing more than to seek his instruction, and perhaps even help him in his research. Oh, maybe not. Well, the guy I was thinking of, Ensha, had a gold mask, so I assume that would be gold mask. But if it's maybe that's maybe that's somebody else entirely. Okay. Well, more power to you, I guess. Hmm. Hmm, there's not... Yeah, that's that's too bad. I wish there was something I could do. Let's go check in with... What's her name? Uh, the old finger lady. About Queen Merica. Queen Merica is the vessel of the Elden Ring, carrier of its vision. A god in truth. But after the Elden Ring's shattering, she was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. Oh, she's in the Erd Tree? punishment for shattering the Order, despite her godhood. Oh. Is she powering the Erd Tree? Is that why it's glowing gold? Or is it glowing gold independently? demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and a vision's vessel. Yeah, I think so. Great runes to become Elden Lord and join Queen Marika as her consort. Mm, I don't know the if she, that's what. Have willed it so. I'm not sure if that's something now that she wants, though. Go. Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, cool. You can get General Radon's stuff here. Uh, ooh. I'm tempted to get the armor. Um. The headpiece, maybe not as much. I think I think we're doing. Okay. I think we're, I'm okay with my current one. The boots are pretty cool as well. I don't want to totally cosplay as him. You know what I mean? Um, but I'll take the armor. Yeah, I'll take I'll take some armor. Twelve thousand. Cool. And then power from remembrance. What do we get here? Scourge, great sword, or a bow? Okay. Cool. So, Merica is kind of trapped in there, like she's being used as like almost a human battery for the, uh, the Erd Tree, I guess. And the Golden Order is the will of the fingers, and so they've basically forced somebody who wanted to break away from their influence to start doing their bidding again. Uh, by channeling her power into the tree. I, that's kind of how I'm interpreting it. Journey to the capital, Landell. To the east of the Altus Plateau. At the foot of the Erd Tree, the two fingers will deny you. Okay. Maybe. Oh, okay. About the secret medallions. Find the Albinor. She hides in a cave. To okay, yeah, I already found her. Nefeli's despair. Oh, yeah, she's in the basement and is uh, looking real sad. Ah. 
You've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly, what's oh. a man to do? Did you fire her? Plebeian is more wicked than an almond horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Seems unkind. General Radan, he fought Malay and by my reckoning, no. I doubt it. Okay, I thought they were gonna say something interesting since I since we beat him. Uh okay. Let's not go see the the crones, finger crones in there. Let's go take care of our weapon first and foremost. Greetings. Anything new to talk about? Nope. Anything new to talk about with you? Well, I took you, my man, to lay out your arms then. All right. No, it doesn't appear to be. So the keen. Oh. Huh. Okay. Never mind. I thought that we would have enough to level up, but we need. We need six smithing stone fives. Huh. Okay. Um, cool. Well, where's the bloodhound fang? At, at the very least, I should be able to get that another level, I think. Somber smithing stone six. Yep. Uh, so I just need a seven there. Okay. And then Rogier's Rapier, uh, I suppose let's keep that one going as well. Okay. And then honestly, we could pick something else um, to level up. So um, we have plenty of like slashing stuff. Uh, and it, like a number of... Um, Another of enemies seem to be very resistant to slashing, uh, like the crystalline enemies come to mind. Like we kind of worked around that by ha by doing the Ash of War, but I'm kind of tempted maybe to do something that just does a, a different type of damage than slash. So we've got pierce, we've got slash, we've got slash pierce. What else? Standard, I guess. Sure. Um, we have a twin blade. We could use. I'm looking for anything that has like a higher dex requirement. But that... Looks like most of the bludgeoning weapons. Oh, the flail. The Knight Rider flail could definitely do that. Strike damage, that's different. Plus it looks pretty cool. And causes blood loss buildup. Hmm. Okay, that's the leading contender at the moment. What else? Uh, Crystal Spears Pierce, that's not 100% what I'm looking for. The scythe looks really cool. The whip does strike damage, and that would be that would be a very unique one as well, uh, obviously. Hook Claws. Did I miss any up here? These are all slash. <laughs> 40 strength to wield. Wow. Are there any swords that have a relatively low strength requirement that are, like, that are fun? Uh, the Sword of St. Trina is tempting, because that's only, uh, 14 int. That's definitely tempting. What else? Lord Sworn Straight Sword, that could do the trick as well. And then these are all the dagger types. Honestly, I think, let's go ahead and start getting the, um... The flail leveled up. We've got enough. To put quite a few levels into it. Um, smithing stone 3 needed. Just want to make sure it doesn't conflict with any of our other weapons. I wish you could favorite the weapons. Just put them in a different category and be like, these are the ones that I want to level. That's smithing stone four, so... Uh, where did it go? Where'd my flail go? So that's not going to conflict. Okay. Let me let me use some of uh, the runes we've collected, which we've got quite a few good ones now. Whoa, 12,500 runes. 
The Numen are said to have come from outside the lands between are, and are in fact of the same stock as Queen Merica herself. We for sure want to go back and kill some ants. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, you know what? Here's what we'll do. We're just going to use all of our low-level ones. Back already. No matter. And strengthen... The flail. And then smithing stone four. I think we've got to hang on to that for Rogier's rapier, right? Uh, yes. So, cool. Uh, let's just see what it looks like. I'm, I'm very curious. That's cool. Huh. I wonder, well, you can only power stance when you have two weapons of the same type. Wouldn't it be interesting if we went, like, double flail? Is that, like, a thing that people do? I mean, I'm sure people do everything and anything, but... Is that like, is it good? Do I have any bell bearings? Oh, I do. I don't even remember where I got this, but there you go. Do I have any more? No. But purchasing. There are some smithing stones one and two we could grab. Um, ghost glove wart, no thanks. Nothing really... Yeah, really only the stone sword keys are tempting to me. They're 8,000. You know what? We beat Radon. We won the festival. I think we've earned a little treat. I think we've earned a little treat. So, let's use... These are 1,600 each. So, five I think should do it. And we're gonna we're gonna buy out the last two stone sword keys. And then maybe we'll go downstairs and talk to Nefeli uh, real quick. And then I think that's everybody, right? Is that everybody that um Oh no, we need to go talk to the, the hug lady. Um I don't remember what her name is, I'll be honest. Uh, Please. It's pathetic, I know. Okay. Oh, I heard something from Gideon that he fired you? So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. Father. Mother. Maud Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him. To place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I... Though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. How exactly? By forgetting the mission, what does that mean? And I can no longer trust him, Father, to think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? Hmm. Trying to use you for his own ends? No. No, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. Well, I mean, I'm here for you. Honestly, why don't you... Why don't you get yourself a maiden? Do you also get a maiden? Do you get a... Do you get, I don't know, a lad instead? Or I don't know. You could also get a maiden. I'm not saying either way. No. Not no, sure how, how it works. I say father has... And now... I mean, honestly, uh, realistically, like, Gideon was the was the one who was serving the purpose that um, Melina is serving for us. All right, I'm back for a hug. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you? Yes, I would. Now, come closer. So last time she gave us a map that had the location of one of the Black Knife assassins on it, which we already killed very early in the playthrough. So I'm curious if she's going to comment something so different now. Very warm. If we fulfilled her quest. About the Black Dear Knife Roger, Prince. The ancient plot the Black Knife oh no. With the impression. Yeah, we already, we already talked about that. Okay. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger? 
and return it to them. Okay. Weather dagger. Okay. A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would oh. <laughs> love for the original owner to have it back. If you wouldn't mind. You see, that could have a double meaning. Uh, the dagger must have a very special place in the owner's heart. Is she asking me, Loki, to stab somebody in the heart? I'd like you to find Severi. Okay. Then good day to you, my dear. Good day to you as well. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and look at... Oh, sorry about your chair. Uh, what is that going to be under? It's probably not going to be an actual weapon, right? You would think? So Lufus's introduction... Here we go. It was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but is now worn down and marred by a black gash. So I have, I have no idea who the intended owner is. Uh, some, oh, on the night of the black, night of black knives, someone stole a fragment of death from Malekith the Black Blade and imbued its power into the assassin's daggers. This mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. So we've got a dagger, a black-ish dagger here. You know what? I bet you this is what it was used to stab, what's his name? Um, God Win, right? And then there's the, the knife. So, do these gonna are these gonna somehow go together in some kind of way to uh, be like a god killer weapon? All right. Well, with that, let's head back to deep root depths. And. Is that goblin over there? All right, here's this, and then the spinning, we can two-hand it, and the spinning chain goes. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, is that blocking? Is that blocking when I, when I do that? I guess I should actually look at my equipment, huh? Spins the striking part of the flail at a high speed to attack, follow up with a normal or strong attack to link the momentum of this skill into a successive attack. Oh, so you're charging it, right? Cool. I don't know if I will use it right now at the moment since it's a little bit probably under leveled for this area. But we will find an opportunity to use it in the future. Let's go ahead and throw this back on. Oh yeah, prosthesis heirloom, by the way. I don't think I ever read this. Though born into the accursed rot, when the young girl encountered her mentor and his flowing blade, she gained wings of unparalleled strength. So I assume that is a reference to Millicent. And is the mentor... Is that the the old guy, uh, Gallery? Or is that not a reference to her and is in fact a reference to... some other uh, lass? of great power, of whom there seem to be quite a few in this land. So, we we could go ahead and go along this waterfall here. Uh, and we for sure will. Honestly, I should have I should have ridden Torrent through here before when I was trying to um, get past the ants. I don't know why I decided to run it. Okay, nothing there of interest. So, yeah, I guess we'll go along here and figure out who exactly this is. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like that. Should I take care of these guys before I, I seek a confrontation? No, I don't think so. Now, is this a tree? Oh, this is just a regular enemy. This is not even a, a boss, right? 
It's a headless horseman. Oh. He gonna ride off the edge? Oh, did he just he just uh Whoa, whoa, what was that? Come on. Alright, well we killed whatever it was. But there's something deeply unpleasant up there. And we're getting inflicted with the uh, death, blight, rot, whatever. From whatever that is. Whew. All right. Oh, and we got a nice little uh, replenishment from that. Oh, there's a whole bunch of those uh, guys down here. All right, a golden rune one. Great. Well, you know what? We may as well explore down here in the village before we try to get too fancy. And, uh, and go higher. At the very least, we want to pick up whatever this is in here. Map of the Deep Root Depths. Thick. Uh, I will look at it in a second. Hefty beast bone. Is that a boss in there or just a whole bunch of more uh, of these weird flesh gargoyle things? Okay, smithing stone, six, a rune arc. Oh, I'm too fat to fit through there. And I'm not even wearing the general Radon armor that I just purchased, I realized. Oh. Oh! Lots of O's happening at once. I'm out of stamina. I didn't do as much as you might think. Oh, see a bear. Uh, let's... Wow, where did he go? He just kind of peaced out. Oh, that's... That's very scary, actually. Whoa! Is he... Is he too fat to fit in here? Trust me, but bro. I understand. Uh-oh. Oh no, he did the, the grab thing. Grasping me in his thick, muscled chest. Yeah, took too long for that. Come on, bleed. Oh no! Damn. Come on. One more. Literally one more hit. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, that was a whole bunch of, uh... Whoa! Prince of Death's Cyst? Is that a... Is that... I assume that's gonna be a talisman, right? Oh, there's a Prince of Death's Pustule. There's a Prince of Death's Cyst. Greatly raises my vitality. Vitality governs resistance to the effects of death. Fetid, overgrown cyst taken from facial flesh. Ew. It is said that this cyst came from the corrupted visage of one unable to die a true death. Indeed, it comes from the Prince of Death, Scion of the Golden Bow, and First of the Dead among the demi demigods. Uh, so Godwin himself, I suppose? Alright, let's throw on the sick-as-hell lion armor, which is better in every way. 
The golden lion is said to symbolize Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, and his beast regent, Sirash. From his youngest years, Radon was naturally captivated by the Lord of the Battlefield. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Looking very good. That That's going to be a nice little boost to our uh, defensive abilities. Okay. I think I, I was a little worried with the whole ant situation that maybe we were in over our heads. But I think we're okay. Now we've collected quite a few of these nascent butterflies. I'm not sure what good they're for. Who? Who would dare do this to me? You? Alright, I guess we should actually go inside this uh, chapel or whatever. What's the hint here? Fire ahead, try running. Ash of War Vacuum Slice. Sounds pretty legit. First off, attacking. No? Huh. Okay. Alright, I see this guy. Watch this basilisk. Yoik! Alright, that's the first half of the village. I assume there's probably more around here to find. I would rather ignore the uh, the golden soldiers there if I have the ability to. I'm also remembering now, uh, come to think of it, that we never went back and, and uh, fought that ancestral deer guardian uh, part two down in Sofra. So, that'll just be something on our list to take care of. Oh, Side of Grace. Don't mind if I do. Not sure we need to rest at the moment. Because I don't, I, don't I don't want to respawn a whole bunch of people. Are these a whole bunch of coffins from other people who have come here from wherever? Wherever it is that coffins are delivered from? Human bone shard. Verifying ball says, oh, there's a bunch of good stuff here. Golden room 9. Golden room 8. Golden room 8. Another nascent butterfly. Smithing stone four, okay. Not to mention some glove wart. Right, very oh, almost missed this guy. Smithing stone four, okay. I was hoping for another smithing stone five. Because I think that's what I need to level up my Uchi, right? I need... Yeah, I either need five or six level fives. Somehow I have <laughs> more smithing stone sixes, which is actually good. Um, it's actually a good thing. Uh, because that means once I do find that last um... Smithing stone, then I should be able to grab another level or two, hopefully, in the Uchi. So, what's the max level? Like 20 or something for, uh. Oh, look at this. For, uh. For these. For the weapon, uh. Upgrade path? Oh, and there's a spirit spring. So much to see. Ooh, this guy looks fun. Hello, sir. Oh, 
Uh oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, nicely done. Oh no. Oh, Basilisk, that's not fair. Death Blighted, damn. Yeah, it's an insta death at that point. Obviously. Okay. Well, let's go get back our runes at the very least. I should probably preemptively. Uh. Where am I? Yeah, this is the right place. To probably preemptively take care of those uh, basilisks. Pretty sure it was these two over here that went through the wall and, and got me. Oh, that's a lot of data spilled up there. Is that everybody? Nope, not quite. Okay, yeah, I see my runes on the other side. So now we should have a proper fight undisturbed. You know what? I don't trust it. What? You're back? Where did you come from? Alright, I'm almost out of... Oh, that was a mistake. I actually dodged through that. Let's FP up. Oops. Come on. One more. Ugh. There we go. That'll do it. Oh, he's just, he was just a really strong guy. Didn't actually give me anything. Huh. Okay. That's cool. Well, I think this is a good spot to take a break. Uh, and what a vista it is. Ants in the front. Uh, legs in the back. Something like that. Honestly, really enjoying the deep root depth uh, vibe. The enemy types. The challenge. It all feels really, really good. I think we're in the exact right spot. And we're getting runes at a pretty good clip as well. Which I greatly appreciate. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. And... Um, can't wait to see who the uh, big boss is going to be for this area, but we'll find out together, hopefully, in the next episode. Bye for now.